Hello, artists, and welcome to Square One Art. Square One Art is a fundraiser, which is a way to raise money. We're raising money for the PTA so that they can do special things like field trips and other fun celebrations like movie nights. We're going to raise money by creating artwork that then is sent to a company called Square One, and they put your artwork into a catalog to show your families all the different things they could buy with your art on it, and then your family can choose to buy something with your art on it, like a mug or a bag. Friends, we are starting our Square One art project. We're going to keep all of our art inside this white square. Okay, friends, we are going to be drawing our own cupcakes, just like Wayne Tebow. We're going to start away from the edge and we're going to draw one horizontal line side to side. Then we're doing two vertical lines coming out and we're not going to go very far up, only about a little less than half the way up the page. And then we draw a diagonal line to connect these. From here, we're going to draw lines going down from the bottom parts of that zigzag line to the bottom of our cupcake wrapper. Then we're going to draw a line behind the cupcake wrapper to make it look like a table. From here, you're going to draw a circle on the left or the right side. I chose the left. Next, I am going to draw the top of my cupcake. And actually, it's more of like a ice cream cupcake. So I'm drawing multiple wiggly lines. I did three. The very top one arches up and over and comes back around to make it look kind of like ice cream. And then I chose to drew, draw a cherry on top. So I did a circle with a little line coming out and I also did a stem. Now that my cupcake is pretty much done, I need to pick two colors that I'm going to use for the cupcake wrapper. I decided to do a dark color and a light color. You can choose to use whatever colors you want. Now I'm going to trace over the lines that I drew, skipping in between so that I make a pattern for my cupcake wrapper. I chose to do blue and orange, and then I'm also going to trace that circle, and I'm going to color it with the dark color I pick. Then I'm going to pick a color to trace over the ice cream part of this ice cream cupcake. Now using a dark crayon, I am going to create a shadow on the top part of my ice cream cupcake. I'm going to color about a one inch wide section. I'm also going to use that same dark color in the circle that's the shadow underneath my cupcake, layering the color. I can try different colors on that circle. When I'm done creating my shadow, I'm going to use a very dark color crayon to trace all the lines of the background, the cupcake wrapper, and my cupcake. Now I need to write my name and it needs to be next to the cupcake, not on the edge of the paper, with a dark crayon with neat handwriting. The last step with our crayons is to add sprinkles or other decorations. We're going to paint the rest of our picture, filling in all the white spaces with tempera cake. Tempera cake you have to wake up with a brush after you've dipped it in the water. Remember, we don't tap our brush on the water container because we don't want to splatter. Once we get a color, we can spread it on top of the crayon because crayon and water don't mix because it's wax and water. And water and wax do not mix together. In between colors, I need to tap, 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 give it a swish to clean my brush. And then I'll slide my brush on the container so I don't tap and spray water everywhere. Now I can paint the background. I can also paint over the cupcake. I can paint right on top of those sprinkles or decorations and they will come right through. Fill your picture with color, go right to the edge, make sure you spread out the color. Great job artists.